Hi everybody, this is Pam Coey. Welcome to my studio. So in this video, I started this painting with fluorescent paints. And I just wonder uh, if you've ever bought paints that you wondered like, why did I buy those paints? Um, so I wanna show you like, this is fluorescent red. It's very vibrant. Here's fluorescent blue, and these are Nova colors. And then here's my fluorescent yellow. And as I looked at these colors, uh, kind of years after I bought them, I was like, well, why did I buy these? Because I don't really respond to fluorescence very much. And so all the more reason to spend time trying to figure out how do I work with these colors and use them since I bought them. And I'm just curious in the comments below, please let me know if you've ever bought a color and looked at it after you bought it and were like, well, why did I buy this color? So anyways, the first thing I like to do when I have colors that I'm not familiar with and I feel really uncomfortable even looking at them is I like to do a swatch. And so I did do this swatch with the fluorescent colors. And hey, these are not so bad. I can live with these colors, especially these guys down here. So in this video, you'll see how I start this painting. Uh, it's, um, you know, my usual way I like to start without a plan. Uh, I start with clay. I really enjoy that part. And what I think about play is that it's an opportunity to get to know my materials, get to know how much space I'm dealing with. And I'm going to be working on a three foot by six foot canvas. And that's another new thing I'm trying. Like I don't normally work on canvas. I, I usually like to work on panel, but I'm trying to transition into canvas more and more because it's so much more lightweight. So anyways, I hope you liked the video. Um, I really appreciate you as a subscriber. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'll always let you know when there's a new video and um, I hope you enjoy the video. I'd love to hear your comments below and list any colors you've worked with that you're like, I don't like these colors because you know, it'd really be interesting to know what colors you have that you really don't like. And I'm kind of on a mission to explore my colors a whole lot more and go a lot deeper and find a way to love every color I have, find a way to mix it with another color um, so here we go. I'm going to continue working on this three foot by six foot acrylic on canvas painting. Currently, I don't love it. And I, I know why, though. Um, I mean, obviously, it's in the play stage, so I don't have to love it. There are a lot of things that I enjoy about it. I enjoy the fact that I was playful in the beginning and I've got a lot of crazy marks. But the reason I'm not loving it is because I haven't really mixed my colors. They're pretty pure. So right now what I love is the mark making and I like the spontaneity. But as far as it being in the play stage, which I normally don't love, um, although I do admire some things that are happening, I know that in order for me to work toward loving this painting, uh, I need to uh, move forward with it, obviously, and uh, put on a few more layers, add, subtract, the usual things. And also, uh, I need to really pay attention to the color swatch I made because there are a lot of beautiful colors on here. They were made with fluorescence and just the uh, three colors, fluorescent blue, fluorescent red, fluorescent yellow in the Nova color range with black and white. So um, what I'm really feeling close to really enjoying are like these colors down here, the more muted blues and blue grays. So that's what tells me um, kind of what direction I want to head toward in terms of the back and forth layering. Uh, doesn't mean there won't be some warm colors in there as well, but that's what I'm going to be working on. Now this is a color that's uh, obviously more mixed. It has, uh, let's see, black and white, which is gray. So this is a tone of my fluorescent blue, and it's quite lovely, quite different from say this and this. You can just see how uh, much more sophisticated this feels. And right now I'm just continuing on with play. I, you know, really just had gotten started with play. So now I've got what's going on here is this um, back and forth between pure color, uh, pretty much unmixed, and now these lovely grays. And it's oftentimes the grays that fascinate me. So I'm using this long handled brush and just continuing to play 
because I just, you know, I really just gotten started on this painting and, and this is just one of many colors I will be mixing today. Just moving this forward, you can see there's still a lot of gray gessoed canvas and um, it, it doesn't feel as bad as the white canvas would feel, you know, but uh, I can still see there's a lot of it, which means that, you know, I've got a lot more playing to do. I'll be trying out some different brushes and this canvas has been taped all the way around so I know where those marks are. Um, whether they drip or not it's not so important it's just on the canvas I'm kind of mixing to get a washy sort of thing going and if I like it I'll add more <laughs> so I guess I like it. Kind of bringing more of this one color that I'm really liking Right away, that, that does help that side, I think. I just need to maybe switch brushes. I don't want to do it all with the same brush, but I do want to use this brush over here a bit more. play. <laughs> Anything goes. Lots of marks. Give me some big marks. I'm going to change the color a bit, uh, add some black and some white. So again, it's going to be a tone of that blue. Okay, so now you can see I've mixed this lovely, uh, it's a little bit lighter blue and it is a tone. So you can kind of see how it compares to that other blue. And I'm just, I, I think this painting is, is kind of trending toward the blues because I really love the blues that are possible with this palette. And this is a blue gray.